welcome or welcome back to my channel it feels really strange to be doing a video because it's been so long um this is actually my first video that i'm filming for youtube but i'm definitely going to be doing an update um on i guess just where i've been and why i didn't film all of last year it's definitely been over a year since i posted a video on youtube um yeah so there will be an update video before this that's going to go up before this one for you guys so if you haven't seen that yet definitely make sure you check out that before you jump into any newer videos just to get an idea of where i have been but um as you saw in the thumbnail in the title of the video today we are going to be opening and using the dyson air wrap um and doing like a review first impressions of this i <laughs> recently have like convinced myself that i needed this that this would be like the mess the best mom hair tool ever that it'll dry and style and hopefully the styling will last days i usually only wash my hair about twice a week at most sometimes it's once a week um that's just because i don't really need to um i use dry shampoo and it works great um so yeah anyways that's kind of my hair routine i don't use any crazy products in my hair i do want to say that i already use the it's a 10 um miracle leave-in stuff in my hair and brushed it out and that's why it looks semi-straight right now because usually my hair is pretty wavy um, but i already put that in and the only like heat protectant spray i have is this um I don't know if that's going to focus, um, but it's like the Laneige, Laneige, um, heat shield, heat spray stuff. I don't think that I really like this, but it's all I have, so that's what I'm going to use. <laughs> um, just for a little bit of protection on my hair. I don't usually style or do anything with my hair unless we're doing something like special. If it's a holiday and we're going to a family's house or a wedding or things like that, then I will do my hair. But usually... I don't because I just think it takes a really long time and I would just like rather not <laughs> so I'm hoping this will be like relatively quick and last days and then easy for retouching and only taking a few minutes um, out of your day so that I will do my hair a little bit more because it'll make me feel better and make me look more put together um, so anyways, I already opened this up out of its original packaging. Sorry, this beginning part is so long. Um, the kit that I got was the, like, complete kit. So, um, when I bought it, it actually came with this little travel bag. So this is the purple and black travel bag instead of the one that actually matches the Dyson Airwrap that I got, which is, like, the pink and silver one. Um, this is this one came with it because they were out of stock of the other ones okay sorry for the lighting change i had my like mirror lights on but i just think it was over saturating my skin and stuff and i looked really pale and i still look pale but it's fine or i think this is a little bit better and don't mind my little buddy in the background um but anyways the um set that i got is the complete set so, let me just get in and kind of show you what it all comes with so obviously i already showed you this travel case i'm just going to put this over here and this box is really really pretty i love it um i was seeing in a lot of reviews because i've watched so many videos on it already and because it's such a big purchase i did a lot of review watching and seeing what people were saying about it to see if it was even going to be worth my money so um i'm thinking it's going to be so hopefully that's true but um everyone was saying in their reviews that this is like pretty heavy and it actually really is so i'm curious to see when i pull out the actual air wrap if that is really heavy or if it's just this box because i haven't actually taken it out of here yet so this is just like a little a magnetic clasp and then it opens it up and this is just like a mat you can put your air wrap on and then it comes with like 
little tips or instructions on how to use the air wrap and then this is the device so yeah um it comes i got like i said i got the complete set so it comes with the round brush the two like smoothing brushes that are like i think meant for like straightening and blowouts also and then it comes with four of the curling wands which two or like these these two are the same size and then these two are the same size i'm sure if you're watching my review you've already watched tons of reviews <laughs> so <laughs> you already know what sizes these are and um why there are two of the same size and then obviously just the regular blow dry portion and then the actual device okay this is not heavy at all so it's definitely just the box so I'm going to go ahead and get it set up for what I'm going to start doing first and I will come back on and show you guys and we'll see how this thing really works. Hey guys, so I just set up what I'm going to do first. This is the um, just regular like hair dryer attachment because um, my hair is still a little bit too wet to use the actual wrap and I just sprayed in that heat spray stuff that I have and... <laughs> I definitely <laughs> inhaled some and it kind of smells like hairspray so I'm a little bit worried about this stuff but <laughs> anyways besides the point here it is um, I'm sure if you've seen other reviews over here is um, the power so it has three different settings for power and three different settings for heat level and then the power button and then you can slide it up to just turn it on and have it running and then the cool shot button so I'm going to focus this mostly on my roots just because that's what's really wet right now. My ends um, are pretty, are getting pretty dry. Um, so we're just going to focus this on my root area and see how it works. I'm interested to see how loud it is too. Really? This might be a little loud, okay? It's a hair dryer. Okay. Ready? Okay, so I love this blow dryer portion. Um, I only had it on the medium heat, so I definitely could have used the hotter heat and dried it faster. I just wanted to see what that would do <laughs> for me. Um, and this is way lighter than any blow dryer I have ever owned. I know this isn't as powerful as the actual like Dyson um, hair dryer, but it's really nice. It didn't get that medium heat was like really nice. It wasn't super hot, which I like because usually I only buy like hair dryers that are 30 bucks at Walmart and they're extremely heavy first of all and um the heat is so hot that it like burns me so I love this thing I'm gonna see I might dry my hair a little bit more right here because I it my roots are really good I think but it's like this middle section that still feels really wet so I'm going to blow dry a little bit more there and then we will go ahead and test the actual air wrap curling part. Um, but so far I love this and I would use this as like a regular hair dryer. Like you, I don't think, like I said, I don't have like the actual Dyson hair dryer to compare to and how powerful that one is. But if it's better than even this little thing this little guy like definitely worth the money i feel like so um anyways yeah i really love this so far so we're just gonna keep going i'm gonna try to what dry that time? section and i will what come back time, Mama? <laughs> i will what? hold what? on please i will come back for when we're doing the curling part okay guys i'm back with my hair sectioned off a big thing that i was seeing in people that love this is that you definitely have to section off your hair as well um i'm hoping my hair is not too dry i think it's like that perfect in between that everyone in the reviews was talking about i'm hoping so um and i've got the curling piece on i do have the bigger one on just because i'm a little bit nervous about how the smaller one will look in my hair i'm more like i'm a little bit worried that it'll be way too curly for right now because it is 
late afternoon and I'm pretty sure we're gonna go to the grocery store in a little while so I don't want my hair looking too crazy when I go to the grocery store so I'll definitely test those out another day um, but this is the bigger wand of the two different options that the kit came with um, one thing I do want to mention is I did dry like the um, this section of like this middle section of my hair on the higher heat with the blow dryer um, attachment and it, that wasn't very hot or too hot at all for me uh, didn't I didn't feel any burning or anything and I was able to actually like grab a hold of it when I unclicked it from the actual base portion of this um, one thing I do want to point out that is like so minor and not a big deal at all but when you're putting these attachments in there's no like click so that you know it's in place and in there it just kind of like goes in and I don't know so that bugs me a little bit like there's there's not a for sure click that it's in there but um I mean obviously I just like pulled on it it's in there there's just like no click telling you that it for sure is which I said that's such a minor detail and really not that big of a deal um just something I would mention um and then I've got this one on that the arrows are pointing that way so I'm just gonna check so this is gonna be for this side of my hair um I just had to look in the mirror to check <laughs> but um this is gonna be for this side of my hair so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this baby on and see if it can work um or if it'll work I do have it on the highest heat setting and the highest like fan option or whatever it's called um and a lot of people are saying you have to make sure that you use a cool shot on the curl before releasing it and that's what really sets the curl so let's go ahead and try this Okay, so that's the first curl. It's definitely a curl. I mean, yeah, I think this is so cool. And this isn't too hot to touch for me anyways either. Um, I will say, I don't know if I didn't hold the button all the way to the cool shot. It takes quite a while for it to like cool off from the original heat. I think I'm going to turn the heat setting down to the medium again and see how that works for me. Um, but it grabbed my hair right away so I'm thinking this is like the perfect in between wet and dry hair right here which is awesome so I'm gonna go ahead and curl the rest of my hair and come back on and show you my results and my final um like first impression of this look. okay guys I am back and it has actually been quite a while um it's not hard to use I don't think if you if you're interested in buying such a big purchase i feel like you should be doing a lot of review watching before you make the purchase and then obviously once you, if you do decide to purchase you're looking into things more like i was probably and watching other videos about it to really get the hang of it so that when it comes in you can just use it right away and know what you're doing so that's how i feel about it, it wasn't super hard to use it is really easy to get the hair to wrap around there i was watching i remember a few years ago when it first came out and I was watching reviews from like big youtubers and <laughs> um, no offense to any of them it just seemed like they were kind of clueless and had no idea what they were doing and didn't read up any information about it just got it opened it and attempted to use it without knowing what it was even supposed to be doing <laughs> so um, yeah I didn't find that it was hard to use um, the curling wand um, attachments at all um, as you can see my hair does have a ton of volume you can see though I haven't even run my fingers through it that down here is a lot less curly than like the top section and I did the bottom half before the top half of my hair um, so I don't know if it was because one it was like too damp or it's just already fallen that much I do want to also say that normally my hair does not hold curl very curl very well at all when I do it at home 
Um, I don't know. I think part of the reason for that though is because I'm not super into hair and I've never used like good quality styling products on my hair when I curl my hair. I just kind of do it and then use a really cheap crappy hairspray that doesn't really work anyway. <laughs> so keep that in mind too um, that the products that I'm using I'm sure aren't the perfect ones. I am going to be doing <laughs> <laughs> more research on that um, so that I can figure out what works best and how to get curls to really last for days like um, it's advertised that it will do so with that being said I do really like how it looks there is a ton of volume throughout here um, I'm not really seeing too much volume up top um, but actually yeah there is quite a bit normal quite a bit more than there normally would be I think in my hair um, and I do really like it I'm going to put a little bit of the hairspray I do have in it in it and kind of see what it looks like tomorrow I'm sure it's not gonna hold at all like I said my hairspray that I have is really not that great so I'm sure it's not gonna help um, but it, I, in my opinion it was really easy to use I know everyone talks about like a learning curve but in my opinion, if you do your research beforehand, it's really not that hard. The other thing is I know that they recently, I think it was just last year now that it's 2021. I think so in 2020, I'm pretty sure is when they came up with the longer barreled curling wands. And I'm thinking I may need those or I need to invest in those. These work great. Obviously, I use them and they did do the job and curl my hair. But... I don't I thought my hair was like kind of sh on the shorter end because this is on the shorter end for me um, I like really long hair so to me this was on the shorter end and I think these were just a tad bit too short in my opinion um, and the hair was falling off kind of at the bottom or wrapping around the top I will say when it did wrap around the top part though there was no pulling it didn't get caught in anything I was still able to just easily release my hair and nothing was no hair was pulled out whatsoever or pulled on at all so it wasn't painful or anything like that but I did notice just because my hair is so long that when it was wrapping around especially if I use kind of a bigger section of hair it uh, didn't really fit on this size wand so I definitely think I'll be investing in the longer wands um, so I'm glad um, I'm glad they have that option for people with longer hair I feel like that's gonna be a game changer once I do um, get those but yeah it was it did take a while too so this was my first time ever using it I think it took so long just because my hair I do have quite a bit of hair it has thinned out a ton over the past year from stress honestly um, I still have a ton of hair though so I think it's more like I have a ton of hair and then it's only thinned out kind of down here and towards the ends from breakage and um, only a little bit that's actually like falling out at the root from crazy amounts of stress last year <laughs> um, but yeah I think that's why it took so long just because I do have a lot of hair and I had to use smaller sections because of how long it is um, so I think that's why it took quite a bit of time just reviews and first impressions go I would buy it again <laughs> um, I think it's so cool I think this is gonna be something that I actually like do like using so that will make me want to actually do my hair too with my other products it's like like with the hair dryer portion I was just telling you like my old hair dryers that I would buy that were really cheap are really heavy and really really hot I just didn't think it was um, even worth putting the heat on my hair when I don't even enjoy doing that and it wasn't really giving me any sort of look other than my hair was getting dry so it wasn't giving me like a nice blowout or good volume or anything like that so not really worth it for me so that's why I never used my hair dryers previously so I think I'm gonna be excited and want to actually use this um, same goes for curling this is so different and unique um, I'm gonna look forward to using it I think a, definitely a lot more the other thing that I really enjoy that I want to mention too is when I curl my hair with a regular curling wand I don't have like the clamp one I have actual wand um, and when I do my hair I actually hold the curling wand up and over so honestly my arms get tired from holding it up and doing all the hair that I have this you can literally just hold it like this and you don't have to twist anything you don't have to wrap anything you just put it on there and 
let it dry, let it go. Same with the other side. You don't have to be over here doing this and this. Um, so in my opinion, this is worth it. I'm super excited to continue using it. I'm interested to see what my hair will look like tomorrow. Um, yeah, sorry this was so long, but I really was excited to make it and wanted to make sure that I let you guys know everything about how I feel about it and my thoughts behind it as a normal, regular, non- beauty guru, non-hair person, someone who doesn't normally style their hair and doesn't know a whole lot about hair, honestly, um, and just what you think about it, so, or what I think about it. So you can kind of get an idea if you were thinking along the same lines as me or your lifestyle is more similar to mine where you're not doing all these crazy things and don't think you need such an expensive hair tool, it might still be worth it. So yeah, that's it for the video. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave, of course. And like this video if you liked it. Thank you guys. I'll see you next time. Bye.